EU foreign ministers have been in Luxembourg today discussing sending more military aid to Ukraine. Our Brussels correspondent Dave Keating has been following those talks. EU ministers meeting today agreed to sign off on a further tranche of EU military aid for Ukraine. That brings the total up to 3.1 billion euros. National governments can send over their military aid and then be reimbursed from this EU budget. Now, they also agreed today to set up an EU-Ukraine military training mission that will operate out of Poland and out of Germany. Some countries will not participate in this, but they didn't try to veto it. So Austria, which is neutral, did not want to participate, and also Hungary, which has had a habit of trying to walk back EU action to help Ukraine in this war, also will sit out of that mission, but they did not try to block it today. Uh, now, the other big discussion that EU foreign ministers were having was a talk about the future of EU-China relations. That's going to be on the agenda of a summit of EU prime ministers and presidents in Brussels on Thursday and Friday of that week. They are trying to set out an orientation for how the EU should view China. Now, there are many voices in that room pushing for the EU to take a hardline stance on China, insisting that Beijing take a stance on the Russian war and condemn Russia's invasion and annexation of Ukrainian territory. Uh, so that's going to be an interesting discussion on Thursday and Friday. I didn't get the sense that that issue was moved ahead forward uh, in a great degree today. So it's really been left to the prime ministers and presidents to figure out what that future relationship with China is going to be.